What's going on guys, I'm Chris Oberly and welcome to The Shift, presented by Murphy's Magic. What's up guys, my name is Chris Ramsey and welcome to The Shift. Thanks so much for tuning in and as you can see, I'm back outside because it's so lovely and such a beautiful day. We still have a boatload of snow here, but the weather is getting increasingly better, so things are looking up. This week on The Shift, we have two amazing new releases once again, but before we get into that, let's announce the winner of last week's contest, and the winner is... Dr. Benny Bull. Dr. Benny Bull. Hit us up, facebook.com slash Murphy's Magic Supplies, and uh, we'll send that out to you ASAP. Remember to win this week's effects, simply like this video and comment below what you thought about the products and or the episode, and we will choose one lucky winner to take home these prizes next week. So good luck. All right, we had uh, one of my good buddies in the studio last week, Mark Calabrese, filming some exciting projects, which I can't talk about right now, but he also had his at the table live lecture, his second live lecture. So if you want to check that out, hit up your favorite online authorized Murphy's Magic dealer. All right, on the deal, we have Cut Cards by John Armstrong and Never There by Morgan Strubler. Let's start off with a quick video I did using the cut cards uh, and using some sandwich routines with the cut cards, whatever. Have a look at this and we'll talk about it after this. So that was me performing some sandwich tricks using cut cards supplied in the John Armstrong Cosmo Magic release. What you get here is you get a whole bunch of material that you're going to be able to use straight away, which isn't slight intensive at all, uh, taught directly from John Armstrong. If you don't know John Armstrong, get out from under a rock. He's amazing. I love John. Uh, he teaches a few sandwich tricks, so sandwich, hand witch, the drop, uh, tilt witch, and then he's got some bonus stuff and uh, balls to the wall collectors, which is an amazing collector's routine. What you get when you get this, you get a whole bunch of these cards. So in this little envelope, you get a bunch of basically double backed single color cards. Um, you get four colors, black, blue, red, and uh, black, blue, red, or is it just three? Oh, darn it, now I have to take these out again. Pardon me, you get three colors. You get black, blue, and red, uh, two of the reds, two of the blue, and four of the black. Now, a lot of you might say, aren't these just double-backed knock cards? Well, hate to tell you, but knock doesn't make double-backed cards, so these are specifically made for this. And the justification, I think, is beautiful, because when using two cards to sandwich another card, what's the justification for saying, these kings will find your cards, or these queens will find your cards? There's no, there's no good justification for that, that, you know, to my knowledge. So what you have with this is you have uh, these casino cut cards. So in casinos, if you're not familiar with this, they put a cut card on the bottom so you can't bottom deal or so you can't peek at the bottom card. So it's a beautiful justification why these cards would cut to your card. Get it? So I really love this. I think it's a great idea and it's something you can just put into your deck and use for collectors, sandwich tricks, anything of that nature. It's very visual when spreading the cards that you see these. So it's one of those simple ideas that you think, why hasn't anybody thought of this before? And that's usually when you know the idea is good. So the price line's pretty good, it's about 20 bucks. You get all these routines plus these cards, which I think is really, really fair. John Armstrong's a great teacher, so you have a lot of fun learning from him. Check this out, I really love it. Cut Cards by John Armstrong and Cosmo Magic. Next up, we have Morgan Strubler. Never there. Check out a performance by Morgan on the trailer and we'll talk about it after this. Cell phone I can borrow? Find your camera. I don't know anything about this phone, I'm sorry. Okay, now I'm just gonna take a picture of me and you. Okay, I 
got a photo. Okay, you got one? Yeah. Can we show the camera? Yeah. How do you bring it up? Oh, okay. You see that? Will you post that to your Instagram real quick? And make sure it's an okay picture of me and you. Hold on to it. I'll just delete myself from the photo completely. Go ahead and have a look. Are you sh oh, How do you do that? How do you do that? A strange phenomenon demonstrated with the spectator's borrowed phone. This is never there. All right, that was Morgan Strebler performing Never There. Uh, there's a couple cuts in that video, and the reason for that is if they didn't cut it, they would expose the method because it is pretty simple. Although simple, hyper-deceptive. It's not something that I've tried out yet, but I'm excited to try out. I'm really excited to see how this plays psychologically with the spectator because it's one of those things that uh, sort of feels ballsy, and until you do it, you probably don't understand how easy it is. So I'm looking forward to trying it out tonight and uh, on some friends and what's really cool about this so basically the effect is um, you take a picture of you and a spectator so it can either be a selfie or someone else can take it and um, and when you go back to the picture you give them the phone th you're missing from the photo kind of like you've erased yourself from the photo or you've turned back time so he's got a few presentations uh, how to come up with this um, he teaches it with an iPhone it can be done with other phones as well but I think for practicality of how this works I think an iPhone would probably be best not not biased not jumping on the bandwagon here with iPhones but they are pretty user-friendly especially for effects of this nature like I said the method is very very deceptive but it's very very simple as well I use very simple deceptive methods when it comes to iPhones. One of my favorite things to do is the uh, the, un the pin unlock by Peter Turner, which is super simple if you know what it is. And you'd think, well, that doesn't really work. How do people not know that? They don't and they freak out. Guaranteed, trust me, I use it all the time. So if you're interested in some organic magic that you can do with their phone, which is really cool, this is, uh, this is a good product. So check it out. Morgan Strebler, never there. All right, guys, that's it for me. Thanks for tuning in for this week. I will catch you guys next week. Same bat time, same bat channel. Have a good and safe and happy weekend for what's left of it, and we'll see you then. Peace.